Let's talk about the recovery time after a procedure. For example, the most popular procedure would be filling the penile shaft and glands to enlarge these areas, right? But patients will say, hey, how, what's the recovery time like? You know, what, am I restricted from working out? Am I restricted from working? Okay. In essence, there's very little restriction, but there are postural requirements. For example, let's say you had the penile shaft enlarged and the glands enlarged, right? So what we do is we put a, a wrap on. We show you how to wrap it with certain uh, stretch gauze, for example. And what you'll do is be cautious on how you bend, for example. Let's say you're walking and drop your keys on the floor. How are you going to get them? Well, we can't squat, right? Squatting is a no-no. So when you squat, what happens though? The penis pulls in, so the wrap might slide and, put, and also there might be pressure placed on the shaft and we don't want any filler shifting, right? So what you do is you drop on one knee when you go down to the ground. Let's say you want to work out, okay? Obviously, you're not going to do squats. You can work out. You can do a lot of pulley exercises standing. You could be flat on your back and doing presses, but you can't do squats and so forth. How about in a seated position? See, when someone's in a seated position, it's at 90 degrees, and that's when the penis starts to pull inward. So we encourage our patients to increase that to 120 degrees. So you lean back. Let's say as you're driving a car, you can lean back. But let's say you're having dinner with your spouse. You can't really lean back and have dinner, so what you do is just drop your knee down a little bit and spread your legs. So that's really the most important thing with post-procedure care, okay, regarding posture, right? And we don't want to interfere with pressure, interfering with the shaft and all that. There's other minor things. For example, of course, you have to take medication. You have to put topical creams on, right? And there's always an open communication line with us if you have any questions about any part of this. So we just keep an eye on you. You'll take pictures. We'll converse and so forth until about day 30 when everything is completely healed and you're back in action.